Hi everybody, this is Larry in Brandon, Minnesota. So I wanted to post this video. This is a friend of mine, Brad Quaver. Uh, he contributes a lot on the self watering rain gutter growth system group page. And I'm going to put a link below this video today. Go over there. If you really want to see some innovative ideas, we share a lot of ideas. We bounce ideas off each other on uh, different ways to... Uh, I, I did a video not too long ago on the hybrid uh, rain gutter growth system where we used a 4 inch sewer pipe. Brad did an excellent uh, PDF file on it. I've got the links to that too. You can see that in uh, the hybrid system. We did it both. He did uh, both versions. Either you can mount the pipe in the ground or you can do it above ground. He built an above ground one and he posted a video on our group page. So I want to show that to you. But after this video is over, click the show more button underneath the video and you'll see links to our, our group page. Come on over and join it. See all the neat ideas uh, of, of, of different variations of the rain gutter grosses and how it's really involved. And uh, also a link to the video on the hybrid system explaining that and then you below that you can click the show more button and, and download the PDF file and look at that too. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Thanks a million uh, Brad for posting this video and I just want to share it with everyone. This is Larry M. Brainerd. Ciao. Okay, so here is my project for this weekend. I have a 10-foot PVC sewer pipe that I cut the fluted end off of it and capped it and I drilled enough holes to hold these 16 inch cube grow bags that I made with welded wire supports and they'll sit on top of the metal frame put a 90 degree elbow on this end this is where I'll be watering it for right now um, I don't have it hooked up to my water barrels just yet that'll be a future modification so now I gotta level it and get it set up in the ground and this is what I'm gonna be putting in my little 16 inch grow cubes. Okay, I'm done leveling the pipe, leveling the supporting brackets. Turned out rather well. I filled it up with water. It appears it appears to be watertight. So now it's just a matter of getting the rest of my grow cubes made and putting them on the system. Give you an update at the next step. Okay, here's my first planted grow cube. I have about 12 inches of potting mix and then on top of that I put four inches of wood chips. So this is my first planting of a raspberry bush. So one down and four more to go. Hello this is Brad from Phoenix, Arizona. Quick update on my four inch PVC pipe uh, grow system and the homemade grow bags. Okay, here's the first grow cube. It has a Latham red raspberry. And in the second one is a jewel raspberry. And the third one is a blackberry plant. It is an ebony king. You probably can't see it there. It hasn't sprouted any leaves yet. And then this was supposed to be a blueberry, but I decided to go with peppers for now. So here is a California Wonder Yellow Bell Pepper and a Red Night Bell Pepper. And then in the last one is a Heritage Raspberry Plant. So, just a quick little update on my finished system. And we'll talk to you all later.